Hi, and welcome to Simple Spirituality PH. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Regine. I am an intuitive, manifesting-based air reader. I am a certified Reiki healer and an overall light worker. And before we dive into today's episode, I would like to invite everyone who would like to receive notifications on my new videos to please hit the subscribe button over there. If you like this video later on, please give it your thumbs up. If you have any comments, suggestions, you want to say hey, please comment down below. And if you would like your very own tarot reading or Reiki healing session with me, online for now, of course, here are the details. Alrighty, so let's get to the meat of the video. Now, this video is actually very interesting. This topic is very interesting because I'm finding that a lot of people are asking about this more and more. And the question is really, how do I be gentle with myself? Or rather, what does it mean to be gentle with oneself? Now, you could interpret this in so many ways. Like, for example, you could be gentle with yourself physically, right? You can be gentle with yourself emotionally. You can be gentle with yourself mentally, you know? And so there are different ways to interpret this depending on what kind of gentleness you're actually looking for or what kind of gentleness with yourself um, you are requiring yourself to do, you know? So I'll try to approach it from an all-encompassing level. On the onset, being gentle with yourself really means that you aren't compromising yourself, you know? You aren't compromising yourself when it comes to, um, oh wait, that's probably not the right word. Compromising yourself isn't really um, the right word when it comes to gentleness. Um, how do I describe this? Being gentle with yourself is allowing yourself to have your own pace, allowing yourself to go at a pace where you're creating progress, you know, but you're also not condemning yourself for, let's say, for example, for not achieving the goals that you've um, laid out for yourself. So let's say, for example, that, let's take the example of weight. So particularly for me, um, I love my body now, but I also know that there is an ideal body that I can also love, you know? So I'm fine now being curvy and swervy, but at the same time, I also want to make myself look better. I don't know how both exist, but they do. In my mind, they do, you know? Um, that's, that's just what self-acceptance is. And so I have a goal weight and I have a dream body that I actually want to have. Like, I want to see myself in that kind of, and I want to have my body in that kind of light. I want to sculpt my body into that proportion that I see in my mind, you know, as my ideal, because I've never had that body. And to me, currently, the ideal version of my body looks good, right? But I'm also, at the same time, being gentle with myself and not condemning myself for not having that perfect body just yet. So that's what it looks like to me. That's, that's one example, that's one very clear example of how to be gentle with oneself. At the same time, I am a very busy person. I have so many things going on in a daily basis. Guys, you cannot even understand. Every second of my day is filled with something. And that's a topic for another story coming up, um, hopefully soon. So watch out for that. And so, sorry, the, the, winds, the wind from the air conditioner is like coming all over here. And so I, nowadays, I rarely get to exercise every day. If I'm lucky, I get to exercise at least thrice a week. You know, that is lucky. And that is if I wake up really, really early, I, um, around 5.30 in the morning, all right? I usually, now I usually wake up at 6.30. And so... At the same time that I know that I have to exercise and that I've set a goal for exercising um, at least three times a week, I'm also not mad at myself if I've only exercised, let's say, for example, two times a week. I'm not going to condemn myself if I didn't even exercise the entire week. And that is what 
being gentle with oneself means, to really not condemn yourself. There's Now, a lot of people get this confused. There's a difference between being gentle with yourself and giving yourself excuses. You know, giving yourself excuses is really giving yourself crutches. You know, giving yourself reasons why you weren't able to do this for an elongated period of time. And I say elongated period of time because it's really in your habits. Your habits really reflect how you think on the subconscious level because a habit is something that you do really on the subconscious level, right? And those are the things that have really been hard-coded into you, the things on the subcoded, uh, subcoded, on the subconscious level. But yeah, so if there is something that I haven't done, like say for example, I haven't exercised in a week, which actually happened last week, I know that I can still forgive myself for that. But if I don't start at least trying to do it this week or the next week, that's when it becomes a crutch, you know? When I find excuses to not do it, that is when it becomes a crutch, you know? That is when it becomes destructive rather than constructive to you, you know? So really, being gentle with yourself really means that you go at your own pace and you won't condemn yourself if you're not able to do the things that you set out to do or if you're not able to meet the deadlines that you that you set out to meet or even on the very basic level of you're not able to um, like you're not able to help yourself if you're feeling a certain kind of way you know especially for conscious manifestors I'm a conscious manifestor and sometimes I get dismayed when I told myself that I'll manifest something by this by this date and um, sometimes I don't get to manifest it by that date, and that's perfectly fine. I'm not going to. Get, I'm not going to condemn myself for that. Instead, I'm just going to keep going. You know, that is what it really means to be gentle with yourself. Remember that being hard on yourself sometimes, yes, it is needed in some situations, but very few situations require that, and require that <clears throat> from a level of self-love actually. And more often than not, we compromise ourselves more and more. Compromising ourselves meaning we work more than we sleep, we work more than we relax, we work more than we exercise. Or it could be the other way around, you know. Um, we sleep more than we work. Um, let's say, for example, that your work, that you really need work to, to be able to, let's say, um, pay some bills, you know or that your work isn't really that much, but you're really delaying it, delaying it, delaying it, you know, procrastinating and not being an effective um, employee, just as an example, okay? It could be the other way around like that, you know? Something that makes you go down to the level of less than ideal for yourself is compromising yourself, and that is not being gentle with yourself because you're going to pay for it in the long run. Uh, I'm not fear-mongering, but this is usually what happens. Um, that is a trend that it usually follows. So if you continue to compromise yourself, you will usually get, um, you will usually have to do damage control on, on stuff like that in the future, okay? So yes, being gentle with yourself. Again, it takes on different forms. Um, it really is what requires you to, or rather what compels you, not requires, what compels you to be more in a pace of your own and not compromise yourself. I don't know how clearly, how much more clearly I can say that, but yes. So when you're on the journey of being gentle with yourself, give yourself some space, some breathing area, some room to expand and improve, especially if you're just trying this out. You know, if you've been if you've been the kind of person who has been uptight and always want to see results right away, being gentle with yourself could probably mean patience, giving yourself patience. Again, not an excuse or not a crutch, not a reason to not achieve your goals, but rather give yourself breathing area to actually to be able to achieve your goals, actually to be able to make yourself a more ideal version of yourself. You know, give it some time, give it some space, and allow yourself to have that cushioning. 
that is what it really means to be gentle with yourself. And this applies, I guess that's the best way I can say it, that it applies to all the different kinds of bodies, like uh, being gentle with yourself physically, being gentle with yourself emotionally, being gentle with yourself mentally. I think that's the best way that I could put it, as of the moment at least. So yeah, I hope this was helpful, and I do invite everyone to be gentle with themselves. If you like, excuse me, <laughs> if you like this video later on, uh, if you like this video now, sorry, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, suggestions, you want to say hey, just comment down below. If you would like to receive notifications on my new videos, please hit the subscribe button over there. And if you would like your very own tarot reading or Reiki healing session with me online for now, of course, here are the details. And yeah, stay happy, stay healthy. Again, I invite you to be gentle with yourself. Allow yourself breathing room, breathing space, time, you know, to become the person that you want to be. Become the person who is the closest to the, to the ideal you that you've always wanted to be. And yeah, ciao for now.